Welcome to Ad Badger's product tour for our version 2.0. I'm your host, Michael Erickson Fasheen, and I am very excited to show you around. However, I did not build this alone. We have a phenomenal team, both pictured here in our Austin office, as well as remotely, who are not pictured here. Uh, we are very, very excited. We work very hard on Ad Badger to really, truly make it the number one place for Amazon PPC, both in terms of software and professional development and education so that you could stay on the head of the curve. One place we share a lot of that educational side is our podcast, adbadger.com slash podcast. So if you take Amazon advertising seriously, we think it's the best podcast out there for Amazon PPC marketers and entrepreneurs. Uh, some people have said that they've been a long time PPCer, so 98% of the info out there is useless to them and too basic. This info is really good and on the cutting edge. This person said it was the source for Amazon advertising. We make learning Amazon PPC fun. Thanks so much. Adbadger.com slash podcast. So let's talk about how to get value from Adbadger in under four minutes. Let's start the clock. So great Amazon PPC, and I'm starting here in the center, should do three things for you. It should save you money, it should boost your revenue and your profits, and then it should help you expand to find new revenue and profit. So what this basically means for AdBadger, when we sat down and thought about what tools we should build for AdBadger, and we have a lot of new tools coming out in the future, we have a very aggressive roadmap, but in short, Every tool that we have now, every tool that we will have in the future will help you do some kind of combination of these three things, save money, boost revenue, and boost profits, uh, and expand to find new opportunity. And even when you first log into AdBadger and you are scrolling through our dashboard, it's basically a reminder of these three tenants. Uh, we send you a weekly email, reminder to check your negative keywords, a reminder to go ahead and check in on bid optimization, and a reminder to add new keywords. Lastly, we also remind you to join our community, which we'll talk about more in a second. For right now, let's take a look here at saving money using negative keyword tools. So the first negative keyword tool that we're gonna stop and talk about is the negative keyword nightly hunt. Consider this the safety net to save money or the way to set it and forget it to save money inside your Amazon campaign. If you've ever heard the quote, you know, I'm wasting half of my budget, I just don't know which half, this is the tool to help you identify those areas of opportunity. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to keywords and targeting, which is represented by a magnifying glass. And then we're gonna to go to negative keyword nightly hunt. It is the first main header here. And then when we're there, you're going to be greeted with three preset rules. For many users, you can click add this rule, one, two, three. And what this will do is it'll block out the three worst offending types of searches that are bringing down your Amazon account. Things that get lots of impressions, but no clicks and no sales, things that get lots of spend and no sales, and things that get lots of clicks and no sales. Negative keyword nightly hunt will hunt these unprofitable, irrelevant searches for you and automatically turn them into negative keywords for you. And if you're looking here and you would maybe like to customize your own rule, maybe you want to turn everything over $25 in spend or $35 in spend or $15 in spend without a conversion, to turn into a negative keyword, then you can go ahead and add a custom rule here. And when you add a custom rule, you will see this setup. And let's break this down really quick. Basically, you're gonna have a set of metrics. You're gonna have where you want to add the searches once they are added. And then of course you'd name it and then you tell it what time frame to look back on. So. For example, what that might look like is I might say, show me everything with over 35 in spend and no conversions. And I wanna add it as a negative exact at the ad group level. And I wanna name this, add everything uh, with over 35 in spend, no conversions, ad group level over the last 30 days. I can click preview results and see what would be added. And then I click save rule and that's done for me. 
Now, if there's a term on that list uh, that as you're previewing, you don't actually want to get added as a negative keyword, well, then you can add it to the never negative list and it will prevent that term from ever being turned into a negative via the negative keyword nightly hunt. Pretty neat. We also have the negative keyword quick attack. And what the negative keyword quick attack does is true to its name, it allows you to quickly attack and turn your searches into negative keywords that aren't helping you, that are actually bringing down your account. So what you'll see is, again, something familiar. So you'll be able to go ahead and set a filter. And in this case, I just wanna quickly scan everything, over 30 in spend, no orders over the last 90 days. And then I get this really neat feature uh, where instead of wrestling with Excel or doing anything like that, downloading reports, I just click view search terms. I click on what I don't like. I click add as negative. I click add as negative exact at the marketplace campaign or ad group level. And that's it. Those are going to be added to my campaign and I'm going to be saving my money. Beginners, quick tip, don't add negative phrases. So there we are. Um, we have saved money using our negative keyword tools, both the negative keyword nightly hunt, which does it automated for me every evening, and then the negative keyword quick attack, which is a way to really rapidly get in there and just quickly attack those search terms to add new negatives. Then we have the bottom here, boost revenue and profit. For that, we have bids by Badger. Uh, so bid management is bids by Badger. So the way to find that is to click on the money bag because this helps you get the most revenue and profit from your existing keywords. Now, as I introduce Bids by Badger, I'm gonna be introducing a very powerful part of Ad Badger, Super Search. What is Super Search? So here I am, I clicked on Bids by Badger and I see something up top. I see portfolios, campaigns, and ad groups. If there's a specific ad group I want to jump on, without going and clicking through portfolios, then picking the campaign, and then sifting through that list of ad groups and then clicking on that certain ad group, I can jump directly to the ad group level, like I'm inside the ad group, just by clicking on the ad group dropdown and then searching for it. So I can just type the words of whatever keyword I was looking for, and then boom, I would find it. I also have the option if I click this little house to view all the keywords inside my entire account. That is really neat. I can also view all the targets. This allows you to compare a keyword from one campaign to a keyword from another campaign and make bid optimization decisions on them. So it is an incredibly powerful tool baked inside AdBadger at its core. Very, very powerful stuff. You can view your ad groups from different campaigns together. So very, very powerful. And let's say I go in and I view all keywords. Then as I'm viewing all of these keywords, I say, show me everything with over 10 clicks and no orders in the last 30 days. And I get my list. And then I might say, well, let me go ahead and decrease these bids. I can easily click decrease bids and what I can do is I can decrease bids or increase bids across hundreds of keywords in a matter of seconds. That's really powerful. So no longer do you need to download a bulk file if you're doing it that way. Uh, you can do it right inside AdBadger. You can do up, down, you can do your filters, no more spreadsheets. You can do it all inside AdBadger. So that's a really great way to quickly go through and scan for keywords that you know meet certain conditions that you wanna make bid changes on. Now what about automating your bids? Well, we've got that too. So when you select a keyword or a campaign, any level, your target A costs and your bid optimization settings can be set at any single level. Meaning you can have a different target A cost for a keyword for in one part of one ad group. In that same ad group, you can have a different target A cost. That is really powerful. So basically what we're looking at here is when you select different keywords or different campaigns or even just one keyword or one campaign, these four options come up. Update bid is exactly what we just saw. That allows you to make changes to a certain bid one off. It won't repeat. That's a great way to update lots of keywords at once. Then we have the update bid cap. Uh, that would set the maximum limit 
that any bid automation would ever reach. So if you wanted to keep bids very, very low, you would set a bid cap. Then you have update target ACOS, and that is where you would set a target ACOS. And then of course, bids by Badger settings. Uh, when you go to bids by Badger settings, you're basically setting the algorithm, you're selecting your target ACOS, and you're setting a bid cap all at once. Boom, you do it. Ad Badger will optimize the bids for everything that the setting has been turned on. And what's great about this is, like I mentioned, you can set different target ACOS uh, at different levels. Some quick tips. Start with your target ACOS. Uh, that is around 10 to 20% uh, of your total campaigns, meaning you may not want to turn it on for all of your campaigns. Maybe just test it, see how it behaves, and then turn it on for all of your campaigns as time goes on. It definitely works best on campaigns with over 30 conversions. Uh, do not keyword dump, meaning do not use Biz by Badger if you have 100 plus untested keywords that you don't want to spend any money on. Use smaller chunks instead. That brings us to the positive keyword quick attack. So we've already covered the money saving tools, how to get more revenue and profit from your existing keywords. And then of course the expansion tool, which is how to find new money making keywords. For that, we use the positive keyword quick attack. So here we are. Now this looks very familiar. We have our campaign selector, we have our date range, and we have our metrics that we want to filter by. Pretty straightforward so far. Now, if you're familiar with the foundation, the, the strategy that every Amazon PPC should be using, it's the RPSB strategy. So the research, we have our auto campaigns, our phrase, our broad match keywords, our category targeting, all of these things are doing research. They're going out there and they're finding lots of different searches. What we want to do is we want to find the converting things. We want to peel out the things that convert and then stick them into a manual exact or a manual product targeting. And then ideally block them from appearing in the source. So how do we do that inside Ad Badger? Very quickly, you go, you set your time frame, you go ahead and you say, show me everything with two or more orders. Do it just like that. And you say view search terms. Then I'm going to go ahead and click and select. And then I'm going to go add as keyword. And then I'm going to just tell Ad Badger where to put these search terms and how to put them. So an exact, put them over here, use the average CPC. And then one really cool thing is we actually allow you, would you like to add the selected keywords to their source ad group as negative exacts? So we help you do the B in research, peel, stick, and block, the RPSB. Now, finally, you are not alone. Amazon PPC is difficult. You've got other badgers by your side. As part of your membership, you get access to a powerful Facebook group. I'm a member of lots of Facebook groups. Um, this is a good one. Uh, so we have five team Badger members in there. We have PPCers, we have developers from the team. We have fr friends from other agencies, entrepreneurs, freelancers, marketers, entrepreneurs, really sharp people in that group. Uh, we have hours of education on Amazon PPC, Amazon marketing and beyond. We have thousands of dollars in discounts from partners and we have discounted Amazon PPC coaching all as part of your Ad Badger membership. So that is it. That is the Ad Badger product tour. Have a good one, and we'll see you inside the Badger Den.